Miss World, South Africa. <laughs> Let's go. So I resonate with the beauty with a purpose ethos where yeah. I get to share my skills and experiences in electrical engineering that were very much cultivated by my father. And I know that in South Africa, we do face people that have grown up without their fathers, but to use that to my advantage, to show that my father is my superhero, I want to use this platform to share everything that I've learned, be it from engineering to family, and take this title. Mm, yeah. Okay. Dear family, my name is Sally Sitole and welcome to another beautiful episode of the Campus Live. Well, joining me today, we have a lady who believes in beauty. As society must say, the streets and the community, they say beauty with a purpose. And I believe that she is just that. Joining me today is Temeli Che Nguni. She is a Miss World South Africa finalist. And I can't wait to be getting to know her. What she's all about and why she's here and why she entered for Miss World South Africa. Timothy Clare, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. That was amazing, Sally. Thank you. <laughs> I was just freestyling there. <laughs> Are you well? I'm good. I'm looking well, beautiful. Thank you. thank you. You too. Thank you. Um, just some icebreaker questions, maybe. I've never done this before. Okay. This is my first time doing it. Okay. Uh, what did you have for breakfast today? Sally. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had leftovers yeah. from last night. I had a prawn, pasta, yeah. chili, I don't know, yeah. it was amazing, Yeah. and yeah, a bottle of water. Okay, I'm a pasta girl, but did you make the pasta? I did not. Okay, where did I you get it from? It. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it from, there's a restaurant by my apartment yeah. building, and I, I forgot the name right yeah. now, but okay. they make amazing pasta. Okay, so what do you think you're going to eat tonight? Pasta. Pasta. Yes, girl. <laughs> she is my kind of girl. You see, I'm pasta pizza girl. I'm a pea girl. I think it's very simple. Yeah. Pizza, simple, Listen. but straight to the yeah. point. Tasty, Effortless. different flavors. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pea girl. Pasta and pizza. Mm -hmm. If you want to impress me, if you want to make me smile, that's what you should do. <laughs> but listen, today is not about me. Today mm -hmm. is about you. But mm -hmm. I first want to ask you, um, for somebody who has no idea who Lite is, mm -hmm. um, who is Lite? Mm. So, I was born and raised in the East Rand, mm -hmm. um, in Boxburg. I have a beautiful, beautiful family that's just all about love, all about giving, giving without receiving. Yeah. And I... I'm an electrical engineering student mm. right here at UJ. Yeah. And I I love going on hikes. I I love painting. I don't do it very often mm. because time paintings take time. Yeah. <laughs> and I love my family. Mm. They are my cornerstone. They they really just hold me down. Um I am a woman of faith, mm -hmm. just as my name says. Yeah. I cannot be faithless mm. <laughs> unless I change my name of yeah. course and yeah I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about family um seems like you're very rooted in family but how was your mm. childhood like growing up? So I grew up with my parents mm. so very happily married. I I think I know love because of my mom and dad um but I don't know how to define it yeah. because it just came in so many different forms. It came in so many different feelings when if I felt love from my parents. Mm. Um, I grew up with two siblings. Um, my older brother, who was nine years older than me, mm. and my older sister, who's about two years older than me. And now I have four nieces and nephews. Yeah. I recently had another nephew. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> okay, <you>. auntie. It's <laughs> my favorite title, auntie. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I did lose my brother mm. um, about two years ago. And he left me with three of the best yeah. children. Um, 
my oldest nephew is like what I would imagine if I was someone's older sister. Mm. That's where I get to practice with yeah. him because I'm very stern. I'm yeah. very much like a big sister, but I just have so much love for him. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's my family. It seems like it seems like your family is very close. Mm. You know, you guys are mm. very united from how you are expressing your family. But mm. how did your brother's death affect you? Me or yeah. my family? I think let's let's say you. Oh, yeah. okay. I really got to experience that grief doesn't go away. Mm. It comes in waves and it depends on the season of your life that you're in. Because when I lost him, I was in a season of a lot of loss. Um, everything in my life was just leaving my life. And I felt like there was always just something missing. Mm. And it wasn't until recent that I, I realized that my brother is still around, but through his children. Mm. They all have different pieces of him. Mm. And that's when I started feeling like there was something coming back and piecing me back together. When I saw all three of them and I was like, actually, all three of you put into one that is actually him. Yeah, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Hey. That is really beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But like, let's talk about electrical engineering. Mm. Um, your decision to go to school and pursue electrical <laughs> engineering, right? Yes. The world is definitely changing. We can't say it's a male-dominated industry anymore, right? Mm. But <clears throat> the reality is we know it as a male-dominated industry, industry. Yes. right? So what motivated you or inspired you to be like, you know what? <laughs> We're going to go to school. And we're going to deal with the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> um, Especially when there's load shedding, you know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's my motivator yeah. right there. That's the <laughs> question answered. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my father is an electrical engineer. Yeah. And he's someone that I look up to. I call him my superhero, mm. actually, because he's just always there to save my day. Yeah. And he was very much involved in um, my siblings and I's education, but particularly STEM orientated um, subjects, yeah. be it mathematics or science or whatever. Mm -hmm. He just always wanted us to have that passion. And for me, I absolutely loved it because I was good at it. Mm -hmm. And when it came time to um, you know, furthering my studies, at first I did struggle. Um, because it was very overwhelming. Engineering is very much about precision, yeah. and it's either you get it right or it's absolutely completely wrong. Mm. And that was one of my biggest struggles. But now I seem to have gotten the hang of it, and with my father always there, he always motivates me. And he's always told me that no matter how long it takes you to finish your degree, no matter how like whatever hurdles you face, I just want you to always come back to me and I'll always be here to support you through it all. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So how has it been? Um, you're in your second year now, mm -hmm. I'm studying electrical engineering. How mm -hmm. has it been? I'm, sh I'm sure it can, can be tough sometimes. Very tough. <laughs> it can be extremely tough. Yeah. So I'm actually a transfer student. Mm -hmm. I transferred from the University of Pretoria which is where I actually started off. And that's when I experienced the really gruesome reality that engineering is about precision. Mm. And along with you know, losing my brother, my mental health just taking an absolute plunge. Yeah. And things just weren't looking bright anymore in a world of darkness that we were facing. Mm -hmm. I would, actually, there were times where I would be studying in the dark and ask myself, what's the point? of studying electricity in the mm. dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, there were times where I felt hopeless, which once again, it goes against who I am because mm. I am a woman of faith, I am a woman of hope. My name means good hope for crying out yeah. loud. And in those moments, it just, it felt like this university thing, electrical engineering thing, I don't think I'm going to be 
pursuing it any further. Yeah. So my parents really saw a change in me. They saw a change in my personality and they immediately were alerted that something is wrong and we need to do something about it. So they encouraged me to transfer to UJ. And ever since then, it's, it's like God opened a brand new door mm. to just my excitement and my passion again because the moment I entered, I was very much alone. I had so many friends back in Pretoria, but now I had to pursue something new yeah. in a completely different city. And I just felt like the community at UJ was so welcoming. They had no idea who I was, but they just opened up their arms and they were like, welcome, mm -hmm. we're here for you. Yeah. And I remember going to one of my lecturer's office and I told him that I'm a transfer student and things just weren't going well, my mental health wasn't well. And he was like, don't worry, we're here for you. Mm. And the moment I heard those words, I just broke down and cried. <laughs> I was like, that's what, exactly what I needed, someone yeah. to just you know, tell me that it's okay, you're not alone and you came to the right place, essentially. Mm. Yeah. What a beautiful story, eh? <laughs> but academically, how are you doing now? Are you getting some Oh yeah, amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could even show you my yeah. transcript. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make it my wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, congratulations, yes. eh? Thank you. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Um, maybe sometimes what you just need is just a change of environment. Mm. You know? Certainly. Um, look now, now you're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I like that a lot. But hey, um, you mentioned painting earlier on. You mm. mentioned, um, well, reading. Mm. What else um, is your hobby? And, you know, when you feel like it's just, just a lot going on in your life, mm. school-wise, you don't want to touch any books. No. You, know, you don't want to <laughs> do anything. But, like, what really centers you? Um, my friends mm. are my personal diary yeah. and like my journal. I love just a safe environment mm. with, even if it's just one friend yeah. and just talking, spilling and just getting everything out. And also being a listener is very important in a mm. friendship. Um, I just, <laughs> <laughs> There's something I just thought of, yeah. but I love taking a drive yeah. to a drive through yeah. with my friend. Yeah. And we just park and speak for hours. Yeah. And then once the food is done, we go back and grab something else again. We'll grab some water, grab some ice cream and park again. And more hours of just speaking. It's just, it feels so safe yeah. being in a car with someone that you trust, mm. someone that you love. Mm. Um, it feels like my heart is at peace yeah yeah i've never tried that before i think i need to try i it. highly recommend it i need to try <laughs> it yes sure just drive around by the drive through be like can i get this mm. and all of a sudden then you just chill for hours and, and talking speak. <laughs> yeah i mm. need to try that i need to try that out. like yeah mm. but let's talk about <sighs> what's coming up in a few months Yes. You will be on stage representing yes. South Africa on the Miss World South Africa stage, mm -hmm. being a finalist. How has it been? It's been great. Yeah. I can definitely say so far so good. Um, I really enjoy how it's helped me as a person. Mm. It's helped my punctuality, yeah. my communication skills. Yeah. Um, I haven't even met the other contestants, mm. but I just feel so much love from yeah. them on social media mm. and just like the sisterhood that we've already built mm. and we haven't even met. I can yeah. only imagine what it can be when yeah. we finally get to see each other. Yeah, but let's take it back a, a little bit. How, where did this modeling love come from mm. and where did it begin so i entered my very first pageant when i was 15 mm. which is exactly 10 years ago okay and it was amazing i felt like i was just being me there was no one that i was trying to imitate mm. i wasn't even into pageants that 
much. I knew the South Africa and I'd be like, oh, she won. Okay, great. <laughs> you know? And then when I won that pageant, Miss Boxberg High, mm. I got to have a free photo shoot. I got to have um, modeling lessons, be it like walking or talking or like different poses. And from there, I started seeing that, okay, I really enjoy this. I love being in front of the camera. I love mm. the walking, you know. And I was quite good at it because when the photos would come back, I'd be like, oh. Oh, is this me? This, she's, she's kind of pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after that, I somewhat tried to rebrand myself mm. into a fashion model or a model in general. Um, got to be on magazine covers and that was really exciting. Yeah. That was a, a really fulfilling time in my life. And then only this year, I had to reflect back and be like, okay, so I've branded myself as a model. That's one gold check. But I really want to go back to where it all started. I really want to go back to being into pageants again. Mm. Um, and seeing that it's been 10 years, yeah. let's see if I've still got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm here now. Okay, cool. Um, you know, when they're speaking, um, mm. I just have an idea. We're going to play a game. A game? We're going to play a game that has never been done before. I'm looking for the stopwatch. Okay, there we go, Clark. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna I play think a I game. know where this game is going. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play a game, right? Mm. So we just do like a practice round for the finale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so I'm going to set the time <clears throat> to 30, no, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 30 minutes, I mean 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. And then you have to answer the question. In 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, first question that I'm going to ask you, right? Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that you're in the electricity in industry, right? Mm -hmm. And with the current problems that we're facing in South Africa, as much as, yes, we, are we have celebrated 100 days of no load shedding, yes. right? But there's still a problem of, you know, load shedding mm -hmm. as a whole in our country mm -hmm. and transitioning to green energy um, what solutions would you um, perhaps uh, bring to the table mm -hmm. as miss south africa i mean miss universe miss world so, miss world <laughs> south africa mm -hmm. so <clears throat> 30 seconds so being proudly south african yeah. i know that our country has invested a lot into relationships with other countries mm -hmm. And when it comes to renewable energy, there are international countries, be it in Asia or Europe, that have really skyrocketed yeah. in the technology, in the advancement of renewable energy. So I'd use those relationships that we've cultivated to build and to reform South Africa in the renewable energy industry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely put you in the top three, all right? But you're not done. We're not done. I'm going to ask you another question. Why did you enter for Miss World South Africa? Let's go. Uh, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, give me okay, okay. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a second chance. Okay, okay. I'm going to cancel. Why did you enter for contestant number four? <laughs> Why did you enter for Miss World South Africa? <laughs> Let's go. So I resonate with the beauty with a purpose ethos where yeah. I get to share my skills and experiences in electrical engineering that were very much cultivated by my father. And I know that in South Africa, we do face people that have grown up without their fathers, but to use that to my advantage, to show that my father is my superhero. I want to use this platform to share everything that I've learned, be it from engineering to family, and take this title. Mm. Okay, <laughs> time is up. Go, you are cracking this. <laughs> All right, okay, let me think of another question. Maybe let me ask, let me ask, let me ask the guy here. Do you have a question for her, maybe? Uh, no question. You don't have a question for her? Even okay. if it's random, what's your favorite color? <laughs> I'm joking. I, um, what's the perfect date? What is the perfect date? Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. I think the perfect date has to involve um, something active and a sit down. Yeah. So it can start off with maybe bowling and then grabbing some dinner afterwards. Mm. Or it can be um, 
a trip to Gold Reef City and then grabbing something to eat afterwards because it gets to show you outside of your comfort zone yeah. and as well as in your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three seconds left on the clock. You are nailing it. Last question for the day. Okay. Right. South Africa is currently experiencing high unemployment mm. numbers. Right. Mm. As a university student, as someone who is still going to go into the working industry or working world, mm -hmm. what advice do you have for the new leadership under the new GNU um, mm. to combat the unemployment rates in South Africa? Let's go. I think when it comes to the new leadership that we have in South Africa, it is very important to understand that it wasn't um, a decision that was made by one person. It was a decision that was made by people that are in authority for mm. the country. And I think those very same people need to be held accountable when all these promises that are being made do not come to fruition. I believe that a system of accountability is the only way to, comp to combat unemployment. Mm. Sure, okay, on the, on the time, <laughs> girl. All right, and we are about to announce the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and the winner, for Miss World South Africa is Temeli Kambini! <laughs> Congratulations, girl. How does Thank it feel? You. It feels amazing. <laughs> Thank you to my dad and my <laughs> mom. <laughs> Man, I enjoyed this. This was so much fun. This was so much fun. But hey, my heart is going pitter, pitter, pitter. <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool. But hey, since we are talking about the modeling industry, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know that as a pageant girl, or mm. when you're into pageants, um, you should have a pageant platform, right? Mm. In terms of why are you doing this pageant and so forth. So yes. what is your pageant platform? And what are you doing in the community with your title? So I am an award-winning engineering mentor. Okay. I have mentored children between the ages of 13 mm -hmm. to 18. And I really just empower them and inspire them to reach their full potential, to pursue their careers, be it in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, just a STEM-orientated industry. Mm -hmm. um, I think that our youth is the next generation of leaders that we have yeah. and to really see their potential now and to make sure that you cultivate that now is very important for the future of this country. Mm. Sure. So that's what I do. Maybe a final question um, relating to this is honestly, if you are announced as the winner for Miss World South Africa, mm. what do you really want to do with the platform? I really want to show the world yeah. that South Africa can shine very bright. Mm. I know that we have faced a really, really gruesome time during load shedding. Yeah. We were in darkness, mm. but there's just so much potential in our country. Mm. Um, we can, like I said earlier in my question, yeah. um, we can really use the resources or rather the relationships that we've cultivated with other countries to progress our renewable energy technology and the industry just of renewable energy in South Africa. Um, I want to use the title and the platform to empower the youth. That's mm -hmm. where my heart lies. That's yeah. where I can just see that someone who hasn't been given the fair opportunity that I was that they can take it even further and provided that they have someone who is there to motivate them, to really mentor them in the right direction. Mm. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, man, I have learned a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed this episode so much. Thank you so much for joining me today. Truly, mm. truly appreciate you. Thank you. Thank We're you. wishing you the very, very best of the best of the best, best, best. <laughs> At, on, um, on the finale, mm. we want you to walk on that stage with so much grace, with knowing that you got support. Thank we you. We love you so much. All the best. And we know you got this. Thank you, you so got much. This, right. Mm. Oof, man, family, this was Timothy Klim Guni. Um, she is currently a finalist for Miss World South Africa. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to support her. Do we have to vote for you at some point? 
Um, not right now. Not right now? Yes. Okay. But definitely follow her on social so that you can track when is the right time for us mm -hmm. to vote for her. So really, this is where we're going to leave it for today. Yes. But just maybe shortly, what are your parting words to your peers out here? I think being a mental health advocate, mm. I know that also being a university student, you can be very tough on yourself. You can be very hard on yourself, but just give yourself some grace. Just be kind to yourself. Mm. Um, tell yourself that, you know what, you've got this. It might have been a tough day, but it's not a tough life. Mm. And so, yeah. Shoo. It might have been a tough day, but it's not a tough <laughs> life. That's when we're going to leave it. Until yes. I see you on the next episode, my name is Elisa Tole. Goodbye.